Hello and welcome to STEAM Learning and Fun at Home During the Lockdown. So my name is Warwick and these are my wonderful mad scientist assistants Alexis and Neva. Hello. Um, so I'm lucky enough to work at the Manitou District Libraries as a technology leader. So I get to do fun stuff related to STEAM, which if you haven't met it before is science, technology, engineering, arts and maths. And so my job is to plan activities and sessions and programs and then I get to run some of them and I get to do hands-on learning and activities with young people and watch as they discover things and learn things and I think it's massively good fun. Now obviously under the current circumstances no one can come to our programs, we're all staying at home to stay safe. So I thought I would have a go at coming up with some ideas that we can all do at home. Because obviously I'm a parent and my first thought when I heard about the lockdown was wonderful, um, it's the right thing to keep us safe. Well, wonderful may not be the right word, but thank you know what I mean. But my second thought was, oh my dear Lord, 30 days at home with children, what on earth are parents going to do and how are we all going to stay safe? So this is one thing to watch. I won't promise we'll get it out daily, but we'll see how we get on. And I'm going to do things across, as I mentioned, STEAM, science, technology, arts, maths, all sorts of things like that. And I'm going to do my absolute best to choose materials and supplies that hopefully you will all have at home or you can perhaps get on your next shopping trip. Now, I did just want to emphasize, please don't rush out and go shopping just to get things I mentioned here. Um, wait until your next regularly um, scheduled shop and with a bit of luck, the supermarkets or your corner dairy or someone will have these things and stuff. So we're going to start off today with a good old crowd favorite, vinegar and baking soda. So you need a cup of some description. I've got nice clear cups so you can see the colors and things, but a mug will do. Any kind of regular plastic cup will do just fine. A little bit of vinegar. I've got white vinegar here, again, so it's easy to see the colors, but if you've got malt vinegar or something like that in the cupboard, that's fine too. You'll need maybe a cup full or two of it, so you won't need loads and loads, depends how many times you want to do the experiment. Baking soda, if mum or dad or someone at home is planning on using it for baking later, you might want to set aside a few teaspoons for, um, for use for this experiment and then keep the rest for later so it doesn't get um, contaminated or spilled or anything like that. So a little bit of dishwash, you only need a few drops, so we'll use that a little bit later. Some teaspoons, and as an option later you might use a plastic bottle and a balloon. So, and yes, and of course I nearly forgot food colouring, optional, but it's helpful, it makes it a lot more fun. So take a cup each, and pop it on your tray. We're working on trays and we're working outside, paint the mess. You could do this inside and perhaps just work in a roasting tray or something like that. So put about a quarter of a cup of vinegar in your cup. You alright with that? Yep. Dad, you're, dad, on your phone. So you don't need huge amounts for this, just something Can around. On phone? It's fine. We'll look at it later. Right, hold on to that. And put about a quarter of a cup of that in there. <laughs> Um, we might need, oh yes, you can add a drop of food colouring, so choose a colour and just put a drop in there. Remember can food colouring does a great job at staining fingers, so, one drop but it does wash out easily. Just a drop is plenty. That's right. <laughs> yep, I've been a little tap on the bottom. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yes, mix it up. Right, now in a separate cup give yourself one teaspoon of baking soda. Yep, just pop a teaspoon. That's alright, yeah, so we'll set that aside and use it for a mixed teaspoon, use a clean teaspoon. Yep, that's plenty. Pop that in your cup. Just, just a regular, yep, that's fine, pop it in there. Right, tip it in and see what happens. <laughs> Something awesome should happen. Whoa, whoa, oh, there we go. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I wasn't. Yep, keep, uh, so, what do you think's happening there? 
going on there is baking soda called calcium carbonate. It's reacting with a very weak acid and vinegar. And the two of them combine and they form something called carbonic acid, which then immediately breaks down into water, like we drink out of the tap, and carbon dioxide. So all those bubbles were fizzy bubbles, just like you'd see in a cup of soft drink. Like if you shake up a bottle of soft drink and open it, the whole thing overflows, that's carbon dioxide bubbles. That's the same thing there. Um, so now we're going to try the same experiment, so tip it out to the bowl. So I forgot to mention a bowl or a bucket to tip all your leftovers is handy. Dad, why don't, why That's don't right. we get one? That's right, that's all we're outside. Okay, so we're going to try it again. I'm going to choose blue. So you can choose a different colour this time if you like. So all those bubbles came out of the... Oh, do I need this cup? Yes. Yep, we'll reuse the same cup. So we didn't keep the bubbles. I got food then. Okay. So give it a wee stir. So all those bubbles came up and foamed over. They actually foamed over rather more impressively than I thought. This time we'll try adding a just a drop or two of dishwash to our solution. One, two, there we go. Give it a stir, mix in the dishwash, and then we'll do the same thing again, so a clean teaspoon of the baking soda please. ever put a straw into the sink when you're washing the dishes and blowing some bubbles? Yes. Yes, I've tried that hundreds of times for art. So adding the dishwash. Yep. <gasps> We're going to keep all the bubbles because they'll blow into um, the bubbles from the dishwash. So, there we go. See what happens. I'm scared. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. It changed colour. Okay, welcome back. We had a small technical hitch there and we lost the last half of our experiments. But that's right, because they're great fun, so we'll do them all over again. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you need a cup? Yep, I do need a cup. Yeah. You need a cup? Mad scientist number two. Uh, which, which one is that? Get that one wet. That had baking soda. That one's Chasing things in the wind. <laughs> um, that one, Alexis. Maybe that's yours. So that's fine. So if you've ever played with the garden hose at home and you turn it on and the water comes out the end at say a medium speed, what happens when you put your finger over the end and try to stop the flow of water? What happens? Uh, it's free that one. Um, the cat can't How far does it go? smaller gap to go through so it has to accelerate and it goes further. Oh. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Okay. Instead of having an eruption like a volcano, we're going to use a funnel. And so we'll have a narrower space. So hopefully we'll turn an eruption into a fountain. Now if you don't have a funnel handy at home, for example, you can take a 
soft drink bottle, you chop the top off and make yourself a funnel. It's got a big opening, but if you put some tape over the end, there we go, thank you, and we can add scientist number two, and put a small hole in it, you'll get the same kind of effect. So, are we ready? Um, and in case it wasn't obvious, a cloth would be an excellent part of your preparations as well, or an old towel or something, because we're all getting multi -color. And sorry if you already said that. Right. Now, you need good timing for this one. No, I'm scared. Awesome. So that's better. <laughs> got to be nice and fast with this one. We're going to try... And also, ones with dishwash, ones without. Yep, we're trying different variations. So, Neva will put the baking soda in, and I will quickly put this on top, and it might pay for an adult or someone at home to just anchor things. If you've got older kids, they can whack the funnel on top. And this one's definitely an outdoor one. Right, so you ready? One, two, three, go! Whoa! Green fountain. Gorgeous green. Same thing as before, we're going to try and speed up through the funnel. So, you want it in the funnel? Okay, you want me to do the funnel? Right. Let's go, Put the finger on there. Oh, no. Three, one, two, one. Whoa! There we go! Pippo! We have lift off. Ah, whoa, whoa. I, I Sorry about that. Sorry. And with this one, you can push down to make it more of an explosion. That if you've got a squishy pocket. Right. Yeah. For our final experiment, we are here to oh, Mad scientist number two, number one, who's in fact my numbers, can I please have my bottle? So, if you have a drink bottle handy, or a small old tomato sauce bottle or something like that, what you can actually manage, if you're careful, is you can, again, like the dishwash, capture all those bubbles. You can capture that carbon dioxide, and there's actually enough pressure from the carbon dioxide to blow up a balloon, which is, we all know is quite hard to do. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get one. Get one. This one's also a bit tricky in terms of the timing. Because you've got to get your baking soda in quickly. But you could use a piece of... Yeah, get the ready. One way you could do it is roll up a paper cylinder that's narrow enough to go in the neck of the bottle. Put your baking soda in that. And then drop it in and then put your balloon on top. So I've got the balloon ready. So you're going to use one hand and take that off as soon as she wants that in. Yeah, go. Thumb Three. out. Okay. Three. I've got food. Three, two, two one, one, go. Take Thumb it out. out. Take yep. it out. Oh, oh. Oh, no, not again. There we go. That was way better than last time. Yep, because we were quick. And so you can see the reaction's carrying on. <gasps> All those bubbles coming up. And our balloon is quietly getting bigger and bigger. Wow. Yep. Before parents, you may want to limit quantities of your reagents, your chemicals, baking yes. soda and vinegar, so you don't run out. And it's enormous good fun to just carry on and try these things again, 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 at least until you use the next one. Right, that's all for today. Thank you very much. And